DOCS42 in action. So the agenda for this uh, little demo here is actually I have one job quote in Business Central and I will directly generate this job quote in Business Central. And the special thing about that is we also have um, some data, some products in CRM or in um, Dynamics for Sales and this data will also be integrated into the job quote. And the template design, of course, as we promised, happens in Microsoft Office. And in this case, as in this case for this specific quote, we use uh, Microsoft Word. At the end, there will be a little PDF then as output, as a return action. So this interface, what you see right now here, this is our document 365 performance document app. And if I quickly go to the extensions here, if you work with Business Center, then you know this extension, extension management. This is where you see all your apps they are installed, for example. And here you see our two most important apps, the Docs42 data source app. The data source app allows you to get your data um, directly in your document. And as well as the document 365 performance documents app. This is what we have seen here in the interface. Here you configure everything, all your templates and as well as the output actions and so on. And both apps are developed in cooperation with our partner BSH in Germany. Um, so they are actually the connector between BC and or NAV and um, our Docs42 service. So then let me go to the job quote so i brought i have three quotes here um you see number 10 this one is the english one the conference rooms and there are two germans one german ones as well and i just want to show you that um based on the language code from your customer the correct template will be drawn from docs 42 so this one is the english template and here we have german templates obviously or as these customers do have the language code in german before i generate this quote with docs 42 i quickly give you the standard <laughs> to see how the standard would look like so if i click here on preview i generate a standard quote from business central you all I guess know this quote, how this quote would look like. It looks like this, um, not very special. It actually, it reminds me of an insurance policy or something. So very basic and not very beautiful actually. So let's go back and say, we generate this document right now with Docs42 and there's this little Docs42 action button here. I can click here on generate job quote. And then there is an, just a window opening that could be default, but I just for demo reasons one would like to show that because we enter some team member information from Business Central and this should be dynamically. So I, I leave it like it is right now. There are two men and or no, three men and one woman. And then later on, I will change it so you can see that you, of course, dynamically change your team members as well. So I click here on the button and the Docs42 service is now called and will generate me my document. and. Um, will just give me a PDF as a return action. Good, here it is. I zoom a little bit out here. And we will see um, this information here. This is, of course, everything is coming from Business Central here. Then we have a little cover cover letter with the data field as well, conference room. There is this image from the new conference room. And here there are the team members, what I was talking before, two men, uh, three men and one woman. And then I will change just one name and you will see that of course, then another woman will, be, will appear. So if I go further down, you will see this is the job and structure and pricing table. It is dynamically, of course, so there are some information here integrated. So you see here is all this information as well as a total amount coming from BC. Now the products, they are coming from Dynamics for Sales. So you see this is just then connected here, some conference tables. I don't know if it makes sense, but if sometimes you have your information in two systems, so in this case we, we decided to have the products in our, in our CRM. And then there is this, this portrait mode and you see there's a jump to landscape mode. That wouldn't be possible with the standard. 
This is because you just design your template in Microsoft Office and you decide how you want to have your layout. And if you want to have your layout landscape and the, and the, the breach to um, portrait from portrait to landscape, then just do it. Do it like you want. And we needed this because you see there's a PowerPoint presentation and this is integrated here in landscape mode. And this chair is on purpose there. Yeah? So I want to show, show you then how you easily you can fix this. And then if I go further down, you see there is a PDF general terms and conditions of sales attached as well. Okay, just to show you the other one, this was the English one. Now we want to see the German one just to show you that, of course, if it's a German language code, then it will be the German template here. And if I click here on the job code again, I will see you again. Again, this window is appearing. And then I change this member here to AH, generate this template again, uh, this document again. And you will see there is my new job code for the German customer here. It's of course a different situation. It's in Angstbereich. So you see there's a different picture. Here are two women and two men. And there you see the table is dynamically, it is the same template, it's just four products here. So you get just four information, four lines listed. And the products from CRM as well are just two in this case. So they are just two products listed. And if I go further down, of course, there's a different PowerPoint presentation and the German PDF, German terms and conditions at the end. So then let's go to our template. I will change something right now in the template. So the template is in Microsoft, as I said, is a Microsoft Word template. I have it right now here on the server, but it is up to you where you want to store it. You can also have it in SharePoint, um, which is actually highly recommended because then you can go shop in online, for example, then you can, you have the versioning as well, and you can also work with the permissions. So just designer, just the designer are then permitted to change something. So I open this one here. Uh, it is the template, the productive template for this job code, which we have seen. So as I promised, it is a Word template and there is a Docs42 add-in and just the designer, just to remember the users, they are generally, generally just clicking the button in Business Central, but there's a small amount of designers. They know how to work with the add-in and in the Docs, with the Docs42 add-in, there is the data map designer. This is where you connect all your data. And this is actually the data map is the heart of your document. So you see, if I just click here further down, um, unfortunately, it is um, in German here, so I couldn't change it to English. Shame on me, so sorry. But of course, we have an English version as well. So um, there is all the Business Central NAV table data source here connected. You see, we have seen the slide in the beginning. There is um, the SQL, Excel, Web Services, SharePoint, and so on. And here you see there is our um, Business Central data source, as well as the Business Central report data source and the CE CRM data source. So here you connect to your data and you see this is all a connection between Excel, then we have table information, report information. So you can use the logic from your reports as well. And there is our dynamics information. That's the quote and the quote detail and product detail. So this is the information from CRM coming. If you have connected all your data, then there is the Data Field Explorer, which allows you to integrate your data into the document directly. So um, if you see, there is the name of our company, for example, it's, it's Kronos, um, and this is the data field here. So you can just take this data field and put it, ah, okay, it was maybe just, I go back, sorry for that. <laughs> so I just put it here where the cursor is. So I take this data field, the name of the company and just put it there. And then like drag and drop. And you can also just highlight it and say, okay, I wanna have this one, okay, in, in, in bold. And as well, it should be in red, for example. So the same thing is here. If you're not happy with the color, just this is the build to customer data field, the name of the customer. You can highlight this one and say, I wanna have this one in red, for example. And now you see it is red. And another point is what I see um, during the meetings is a lot of customers, they want to have um, barcodes integrated. So um, you see there, this one is an image. We just define this data field as image and then Docs42 
brings an image in there. And there's also the possibility to add a condition um, around text blocks or uh, even around data fields. So you can add conditions based on what you need. So I quickly open this one here to set, if there is an image, insert. If there's no image, press, just leave it blank. And there's also all these operators here and the and or operators. So that, this is how you can add business logic into your document if you need this. So let me just quickly um, change this name as a barcode. You see, I just highlight this data field. I say the barcode should be a QR code. In this case, you see there are 40 barcodes out of the box. So can you it pretty free and easy? There's a lot of barcodes, the most common. And then you just define a dimension here and you click OK. This word, that was two clicks. And now the data field here is defined as a barcode. And what you always can do, you can generate without a server, you can generate then your template here and test it locally on your client. And this is what we're doing right now. So I get here the window, which quote, I want to have the job code number 10 again. And this is the team member window, which we have seen. So this is the input parameter, which we have seen in Business Central as well. I just leave this blank and as default one. And now the document will be generated and I will get a Word document back and can just put it side by side to give you a better clue how it really works. So um, let me put it side by side as I promised. So I close this data field explorer here. You see, I just changed the build to customer to a barcode this is it worked immediately then i just added a new data field it was the name data field chronos the a so here it is i just highlighted it in red and the same thing here i just did this red so it is it was done in, a, in in like two seconds then we go further down you see this one is an image we defined as well this one as an image so this image is integrated and this image could be stored wherever you want in our case it's on our server right now but it could be in sharepoint or whatever you want so it doesn't have to be from Business Central. And here, this is the team member, all this information, and as well as the images coming from Business Central. And then there is this job structure pricing. This is just one line here, and you see it is dynamically um, listed all the products or all the, all the jobs um, tasks. So in this case, there is the possibility to add a repeat for data source, and then all the, dynamic, the table is really dynamically. And the same thing for the products. So if I click here on the name of the product, for example, you see this information is coming from CRM. And that you believe me, I quickly open my CRM here. You see, this is my CRM. It is the job number 10 here. And there are the three products, flip chart, conference, table, and of course, conference chairs. So this is exactly this information coming from CRM. So let me go back to our business central environment. So here we are. So this is the information here. And then there is the three products, table, chair, and flip chart from CRM integrated. In the same structure and color and font as you have it in your main template, of course. And then there is this PowerPoint presentation. I will fix that later. And here is a PDF. So let me zoom out a little bit. It's just one data field defined as PDF. And then it is integrated at the end. Okay, so I'm happy with my new um, template <laughs> with the red and the barcode here. So I close, I close the template as well as the generated document here. And then I quickly fix the, the PowerPoint presentation. And it is here in our case on our server, but as I said, it could be on SharePoint as well here. The general terms and conditions are in, uh, on our server here. And if I go to my project folder number 10, there is the PowerPoint presentation and here is the image. So just to inform you about that. And here, this is the PowerPoint presentation. I will fix the chair, and then I will generate the document directly from Business Central again, and you will see there was no programming, and everything is done, with, and adjustments are done within seconds. Here it is, this is my chair. I fixed this in the correct order, change it here, close this one, this one as well. Then here I'm back in my business center environment. I generate the jobs. I search the jobs first and then I generate it. I also can generate my documents or my, my um, documents directly here from my job card. So if I go further down into it, so like here I'm working on that and then I say I want to just have the report now. 
um, that's generated directly from here. And you will see what are we expecting? Barcode as the name, red, red, <laughs> red dear Mrs. Um, I don't know how what's her name is. And um, there is this another red um, Kronos DB integrated now. And of course, the PowerPoint it will be fixed. It was fixed. So here it is. As I promised, here everything is there. My new beautiful looking <laughs> template. So Megan Bond is red. And if I scroll further down, you will see the PowerPoint presentation as well is fixed. Good. Then we have actually three minutes left. Um, I really would like to show you some um, quick, just about the configuration here something so in this case we have just one document the job quote integrated but you could every report you want to generate with docflow 2 you can configure here so here just quickly open this one and there is just the job one and then and this is the very important thing if you want to have if you have two or more languages you can configure it here we have one german one english and we say as a standard should be the german template and as if there is the english code the the language code enu for the english customers then please draw the english template this is what you configure here here are the templates they are just there's just a path here and you import the input parameters which we had the team members and the job quote and you just define this everything here and after you have done that you see there is two more things to do the output configurations so we have the possibility on our slide we have seen you can have many output actions such as show pdf save to sharepoint send it via email send it to a printer or whatever you need this is the configuration what you're doing here and then there is just one more thing, and this is what you do. You decide where do you want to generate, where should be the action buttons, and this is what you're doing then in the action but action configurations. You see page number um, 88 or the job card number 89. So this is where the users, they don't do the template designing. They just generate the templates directly, the documents and reports directly from Business Central. 